Uh, well, uh, today uh, is a very is a very important day uh, for the uh, for the IAEA. Uh, is a very important day for Ukraine and for Chernobyl. We have just uh, initiated the permanent mission of the agency here at this important facility. Um, as you have just uh, seen, we raised the flag of the IAEA and we are starting a very comprehensive program of uh, assistance in the safety and the security uh, of the installation. So um, uh, we were also getting an update of the situation here uh, at, at the facility and we are preparing to move uh, into the next phase. I believe, and I said, uh, it is uh, very important to see that uh, Chernobyl, after one year after the occupation of the plant, um, is back on track. Um, the uh, post-occupation phase has been uh, successful. Uh, most of the functional um, activities uh, are restored uh, and are more or less back to normal. And now we are moving into the next phase. So indeed, uh, it is a very important moment, uh, but we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, if a Chernobyl nuclear nuclear power plant uh, may again uh, find uh, in uh, under occupation, uh, what uh, will be reaction uh, AE uh, for this case? Well, we certainly hope this uh, possibility that you are mentioning will not materialize. We certainly hope that there will not be any further uh, occupation or attack uh, on the plant. Uh, my efforts are aimed at avoiding that and by having a permanent presence of the IEA, we are taking a very concrete step in that direction. Having our people here is a, is a, uh, is a, a very good way to inform the international community about any development and take the necessary actions uh, to prevent that. But that this will happen and we certainly believe that this is not going to be the case. Thank you. Nuclear safety and uh, security protection uh, zone at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. In a few hours, I am going to be seeing uh, the Prime Minister and perhaps uh, the President, and we are going to be discussing this. Uh, I am personally uh, optimistic. We know that it is not an easy uh, thing to do, but it's very necessary. We need to protect that, uh, that facility, which is still in a very fragile and precarious uh, situation. So we hope to establish the zone very, very soon. We are working on this. We have uh, made good progress, and I was really looking forward to this opportunity to return to Kiev, to return to Ukraine, to try to give it up another push and try to get there soon. And are you planning to go to Zaporizhia? Not on this trip, uh, but I do not exclude that I will be visiting uh, Saporizia again, yes.